Today's little example is a 2010 Polo. Uh, customer complaint is remote central locking not working. It works intermittently. So we have a remote which makes the LED flash, but not work on the car. We have central locking is working. remote control not working we can unlock the door and it'll only unlock the one door to get the rest of the uh, doors unlocked what we've been having to do is to put the key in the ignition and use the button which works but it's not perfect this little gadget here is uh, pretty cool it's a remote control tester. If we uh, press the remote, we should see a light come on on the tester, which uh, shows us that the actual remote control is the faulty part. By the look of that, we have Whoops, a remote control not working. First thing to check when you get a dodgy remote, because uh, as we can see on our tester, we aren't getting a very good signal. Although we are getting the LED come on, you've got to think that the battery is okay. Um, but first thing to do is to replace the battery for the cost of it, or at least test it with a voltmeter. Change the battery on one of these. Um, you have to without knocking the camera off the tripod. Pull the remote away from the horseshoe. And this is a this is actually an aftermarket remote. Simply pops to bits and there's the battery in there. We'll uh, pop that out. Um, normally get these without needing the plastic spudger to get it out with. No, I'm going to need a spudger, aren't I? Ah, there we go. The battery's out, and that is a uh, 2032. It's a good battery in there. It's a Mitsubishi. Uh, we're just going to check the voltage out with a voltmeter. Right, I've got a just a very basic voltmeter, just an old one we have kicking about in the workshop, which uh, gets a lot of abuse. Um, here's the battery. All we need to do is check the voltage in there. It's a three volt battery, and as you can see, it's given 3.9, so um, should be enough. We'll just uh, put a new battery in there anyway. Let's see what the uh, new battery measures. We'll see if that improves things. Here's our new battery, 2032. I'm gonna just check the voltage in a new battery. So the voltage of a brand new battery, 3.4 volts. Quite a bit different, comparing it to the old one here, 3.9. So we're gonna chuck that in, we're gonna see if that makes any difference, and hopefully that'll be a, a nice, good, cheap, quick, uh, quick fix for the uh, remote central locking. So the battery goes in the case there, the remote then falls out of the uh, top part, I'll just pop that back in. Right, with that back in, let's see if that makes any difference on our tester. Oh, nice strong signal now. We do get a good strong signal. See the, see the difference in that with the new battery now? So we're gonna leave that new battery in. On the bad side, um, <laughs> it hasn't worked on the car. But we're gonna see if we can uh, program that one back in. It might have gone out of sync with having the battery off for that time. Um, reassemble the key. So uh, I'll just pop that key back together and uh, see if that'll program back in. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna enter 09 Central Electrics because that's where we found the um, control module earlier. Remote control adding, we're gonna add a remote control. Uh, we're gonna add one and okay it. 
It'll tell us to press a button in the moment, which we're gonna do, hopefully. Press any key on the remote within 10 seconds. We've tried that, it doesn't seem to, uh, no, it's failed. Okay, remote control matching. Gonna try and match one, okay. Right, try again. We tried it before turning the ignition off and no, it's failed. It ain't doing it, so um, maybe it's a faulty remote. Maybe it's a fault on the car, but it ain't working. But we do have a good signal now. So it's gonna be time to get the VAGCOM out, I think. Right, so we've gone old school this time. I've got the old VAGCOM out. Um, 09 Central Electrics. That's where the remote controls are. Remote control adaption. Current value, we're gonna do new value, we're gonna do one. Test. Not liking it. Right, to adapt additional work, test safe zero as new value. Okay. Delete the remotes, test, save, yes, and now it is accepted, and go back, go back, and then take the key out, and let's give it a test. Remote control lock. And unlock. So, what happened there was the battery died in the key, um, it apparently lost its programming, went to put it in with um, aftermarket diag tool, didn't do it basically, they're a little bit sketchy. Good old VAGCOM, straight in. Another success. Now it's time to get the phone.